my mother and my little sister were at a Texarkana College presentation. Um, at that time, I was in a state of hopelessness. I had no confidence in myself at all. My mom had met Taniqua there at the Texarkana College presentation, and my mom was very impressed whenever she was talking to Taniqua, and Taniqua gave her a business card, and mom hung it up on the refrigerator. Well, she kept reminding me about it, and I'm just like, Mom, I just kept refusing. I was like, I'm not going. Um, finally, when I felt that chance, you know, maybe I just need to go, I called that number and met the person and the organization, and that's what led me to be able to have the future that I have envisioned for my daughter and I, thanks to Taniqua and EOC. I met EOC during my senior year in high school. I would often come up here to, you know, come look at colleges, try to get college tours, help with applying, getting fee waivers on the college applications, and just trying to figure out where I was going to go next. I, just, I was really just looking to um, know what would be the best for me, whether it be A&M or TC. Anything college. Um, what was my next step upon graduation? Um, what degree did I want to choose? Um, the career I was seeking, what resources I had available, you know, I was kind of anxious being first generation, so I really didn't know what I was getting into, what I had available. So you guys helped me with that and reassured me that I do have people here to help me. In the beginning, there was a lot of hope. They, they gave me hope, and that's really what I needed because I just, I, I get hard on myself. You know, I, I just, I, really, I come up with all these reasons why things won't work out, and the EOC just wasn't allowing it. Amelia, she was very nice, first of all, and then she was very eager to help me with everything. Like, when I was ready to make my schedule, she was like, come on in, we'll help you, we'll get you through everything. My first impression of Millie was, she's the type of person to go above and beyond. You know, she goes out of her way to help people, and I just, I love that. Well, when I first met Millie, I needed all services, because I'd never been to college before and I actually needed help signing up for culinary arts, which is my dream job. It was really easy. I mean, I was coming to meet Millie and then like by the next couple weeks, I was enrolled in college. Whenever I was with my friends, we decided uh, to apply TC. So we came in all, all of us three together. EOC helped me with my schedule and they helped me find my career path and it made it easier to figure out what I needed to do to obtain that career. I describe EOC as, as, as a group of people who care for people as, as over family, you know, they, and doing everything they can to, to see to it that I'm as, as comfortable and as motivated as I can possibly be to succeed here at college. Like the way you guys have helped me in every step of the way, you know, um, it's given me more like hope, you know, that I can actually do this. You know, I kind of knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. And I didn't have a clue what I needed to do to take that first step. And EOC helped me take that first step and they made the first step easy. Taniqua and EOC has been my moral support system that I've desperately needed big time. I would describe EOC personally as my family on campus because y'all are like my family. Like I go to y'all when I need y'all, I can talk to y'all anytime in confidence, um, anything I need help with. Also, I needed financial service as, as well as the, the moral and emotional support from whoever I could in the EOC. EOC has definitely provided me with a lot of resources like I wouldn't know about all of these scholarship opportunities if it wasn't for EOC. You know every month I get the email with all the resources that's available. They help keep you on track and they give students the who have adversity in their lives the opportunity to be successful and without that support and their help I wouldn't be where I am at college today.